hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to solve error 40 could not set up connection to sql server so i will first show you the error that we will be facing sometimes so if you don't know how to set the server name here and you type something and try to connect here with window authentication then you will sometimes be prompted with a error that you will see just now So this is the error that you will get sometimes, error 40 could not open a connection to SQL Server. So for solving this error, what we have to do actually is you have to change the server name. So if you want window authentication, then you can go with dot. So dot actually stands for local server and you click on connect and it will connect. So now uh, if dot doesn't work for you, then what you have to do is you can try the second thing as putting a local in the round brackets and you can try to connect again so these are the two methods that you can try and if these two doesn't work then you can try the third method so third method is basically you have to write the desktop name of your device so basically you have to go to properties of your uh, computer and you have to copy the desktop name or device name whatever is there and you can put that here and you can click on connect so this is you can see it is also connecting here now the fourth way that you can try is you can put the device name and then you have to put a slash here and you have to type you have to press window plus r services.msc and click on ok and you have to find the sql server services here so we will see uh, this one so you can see the sql server services ms sql server so now you have to copy that name and re always remember that this service must be running and if it is not running then you can start the service now after this you have to put the name copied from there and you have to click on connect now this way may work or may not work sometimes but you can actually actually this depends on sometimes the setting of your admin accounts and also the SQL Server permissions so that is something that can change the working of this but apart from that local and dot uh, that will work fine for most of the people so these are just many options for connecting to SQL Server you can try those out and if you still not able to connect then you can comment on the video and we will let you know about the solution so also remember that you have to whenever you are trying this way then you have to check with both of the slash uh, so you can try with the right slash first and left slash then so this actually depends on many things so not so you cannot be sure about this one but you can actually try dot and local before trying this one so thanks for watching guys and if you have any kind of confusion then you can comment on the video uh, thanks for watching